Hi, I'm Cassie, and I would like to begin by sending blessings to everyone on the planet. This video is about the negative alien agenda and energetic blueprints. Consciousness is energetic intelligence, um, which can be both undifferentiated units of quality of energy or arranged in specific blueprints that direct or influence all matter forms. What is contained in the blueprint will govern the form, the body and thought forms and direct the intelligence and the energies associated with that blueprint. The 12 tree grid and the light body are holographic blueprint matrices that are built upon sequences of sacred geometry. In order to change the body or heal the heart, one must first change or heal the energetic blueprint, the spiritual plan, and when we become aware of painful distortions, we have the power through applied consciousness to change our energetic blueprint. And this example is well understood in the field of general construction. To add another bedroom, put recessed lighting in a kitchen, to rewire the electrical outlets, one would hire a construction crew to draw up the plans and then remodel the existing home structure to reflect those plans. If the plans are drawn up shoddy, if the workers are careless about their quality of their work and the supervisor is without knowledge to build to the specifications in the plans, the final result of the new construction can be quite disastrous. Humanity has experienced the same disastrous result to their home planet by following the energetic blueprint put in place by the alien controllers. This planet is our home and it is guided by alien sociopaths of the negative alien agenda using an energetic blueprint designed to harm and enslave the human race through behaviours that inflict soul damage and heart abuse. In order to change this structure, we have to recognise the alien machinery blueprint and how the controllers of the false king of tyranny capitalise on the collective fear of humanity to keep it in place. And so, when we can recognise the fear mind control program, we can refuse its control over our personal sovereignty as eternal soul beings. And this gives us the personal power to replace the alien implants, the alien implanted blueprint with a new healthy, balanced, life affirming and humanitarian plan for our individual selves, relationships, our families, children, communities and eventually the entire planet. The construction crew example works in the exact way for every part of our personal multi-dimensional energy bodies. There are plans for each body that govern exactly how that body functions at all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. If one is willing to become aware of these bodies, one can increase the health of the bodies to reconnect to higher levels in order to remove stress, fear, confusion and pain. As one grows in awareness and desires to connect with the consciousness intelligence of each body's blueprint plan, one is able to make frequency alterations that impact how that body and its energies function. And as our bodies and their energies function in a more connected, cohesive manner, we will begin to integrate and reconnect the intelligent energies communicating between each other. And this reconnection to intelligent energies includes the ability of the physical body to communicate between the soul matrix, the monad, the oversoul and the Christos avatar. The Christos avatar changes the energy architecture plan to reflect trinitized forms which override all previous intermediaries that have acted as vampiric towards the being in order to directly exchange with the eternal source and eventually when stabilized this purges the shadow cells and this higher inner communication changes all of the external communication in one's personal relationships one goes beyond karmic entanglements of shadow manipulation relationship confusion and expands to a new ability to experience and enjoy truly loving, balanced and healthy relationships. And this is a direct result of one's spiritual ascension progress, one's direct relationship with God and Christ, 
which results in the inner spiritual marriage of Hieros Gamos. Hieros Gamos is the wedded garment of God, wearing the white robes of the One, the embodiment of the inner hierogamic union between the human being and the divine. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video.